Meet Jamie, a busy museum conservator who has received a call about an object on display that may have sustained some damage. Jamie uses her conservation documentation software, Conservation Studio, to review the object's history, searching the object record to learn more. After reading past conservation reports, Jamie can see that the object was not previously damaged. She creates a damage report from the record and adds details of the damage to the comments section of the report, so it's easy for her to assess the condition of the object when she visits the gallery with her iPad. Conservation Studio makes it easy to add information to her reports from anywhere, as long as she has a Wi-Fi connection. Jamie visits the object in question to inspect the damage. Using Conservation Studio on her iPad, Jamie takes photos of the work and the damaged area. The images automatically upload and attach to the damage report, making it easy to compare them later. Jamie wants to add details to the photograph so her team can quickly see the damage in question. She uses the annotation editor and annotates the photograph of the damaged object. Using the different annotation tools, she can easily note what parts of the object need further inspection and where the team should take extra care. Jamie finishes her initial inspection and enters the completed date. Her report is already live in Conservation Studio, so colleagues who may be involved in the object's care can access it right away. Tim, the museum's chief conservator, monitors for recent damage reports on his dashboard. After he and Jamie have reviewed the damage, he can bring in other team members by linking them to the damage report, so it will show up on their dashboards. Reports can be shared in Conservation Studio without sending documents by email because everything is in one central database, so your team can build workflows that simplify the job for everyone. To learn more about how your conservation team can better work together, contact us today.